Um, today we have uh, an artist in conversation in kind of series which we are trying to do with every show going ahead. Um, we have Shuddha Brato Chandrutta of the Rax Media Collective on the far left. Um, and we have Naeem Mohamed uh, who is in, in the show with us in this show um, in the center and Bani Abidi um, who is also showing us in the show. We are uh, very happy to have all of them here and um, we are going to talk about interesting things. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at introducing people, but <laughs> what I can do. Um, actually, I have a video in this show, but there's nobody here. You have to imagine. Um, well, I'll just kick it off with uh, some of the things that we were interested in talking about. Ourselves, uh, wind putting and wind and others. Uh, and I'll just personalize it for me because that's how I can think through these issues. Uh, because my work uh, is both in the gallery space and within, uh, let's say, a newspaper, political, uh, direct action space. And they're different works. Uh, one of the things that I often uh, see is people looking at the same people who are in the political action space looking at the work in the gallery and often asking, well, what's your position and why is that, why are you hiding it? Um, sometimes with some irritation, uh, sometimes maybe with a little bit of accusation. Uh, and uh, there's an undertone that that other work, which is more direct and clear and legible, uh, is more valuable from their point of view than this other work, which is much <coughs> That really made me, we personally start to think of um, issues of legibility, which um, uh, for those who have been there's a little quote from Rux from an essay they have written uh, in the Flux Journal. And we are interested in the issue of legibility, what are the values of illegibility, uh, also what are the values of that which is more legible. Um, how do these works coexist side by side? Uh, how do they intersect, overlap, and sometimes fight? Um, and then also within our practices which are dealing with certain kinds of issues, how do they operate both with us and with others that we show alongside. Um, maybe we'll have a conversation about use values on that. Free floating, I think. Yeah, and I think people should, uh, as the conversation goes along, people should interact, yeah. Because this is, the forum is uh, very worthwhile. I'd really like to thank uh, Pratik and Priyanka and Spam Academy uh, Naeem and Bani for this invitation for me to participate in this conversation. Um, it's not often that I get to come to Calcutta. Uh, my colleagues and I are in Delhi and practice in Delhi. But um, Calcutta is, of course, intoxicating, uh, primarily also for the level of conversation and the intensity of conversation that it generates. So it's a great privilege to be here. Thank you. For thank you. Thank you. Um, it's also a great privilege to be um, with one's friends, one's colleagues and peers, uh, with both uh, Bani uh, Amidi and Naeem Mohammed. Uh, we in the Rats Media Collective individually and collectively have had sort of structured, unstructured, formal and formal conversations over the last several years now. And I think it's what's interesting is that, um, that being in the separate spaces that we are uh, in Karachi, Lahore, Delhi for Bani, and Dhaka, New York for uh, Naeem, and Delhi for us, um, that there are uh, actually uh, an interesting intersection of conversation. But perhaps it's, it's time to mark the fact that in the history of this very fractured subcontinent, um, there are conversations that can and do occur which are not necessarily imprisoned in either way of the history that all of us inherit, but that are grounded on the practices that we actually embody with our work. So it's first of all a conversation between three practitioners. Um, and that's the most important thing. Um, three practitioners who are who are in different very in very different ways, two of whose work you see in the gallery and which I think are extremely accomplished and, and interesting works in themselves. We can spend a little time talking about them. 
and and another one which is me and my collective, which is which which I sometimes try to think through a series of questions that I think Nain has already raised. Um, questions of disclosure and withholding, of letting go of meaning and letting go of uh, of the um, the ability to uh, to constantly marshal and sediment one's own thoughts into clear and legible processes, on the one hand, and on the other, of trying to also um, to, to maintain a certain vigilance about the clarity of one's own thinking. And for me, what's interesting is this, is this tension that Naeem already proposed about the, um, the conflicting demands of a set of audiences who respond to his work in the public political domain, on the one hand, and on the, uh, in, the, in the more secluded, and I don't want to say the word private, but I want to use the word secluded. Uh, there is an enclosure within, uh, within gallery space, which is an important distinction, and I think a worthwhile space to also to, to retain. Um, that, that different works occupy different registers of meaning depending on the context of their um, unprotected, unsecluded public presence and the secluded, considered uh, presence within, within gallery and institutional structures. What do these movements between and across the lines of, of seclusion and um, Inclusion. I don't know, whatever it is that the other thing is. What do those propose? And a, and a question that I want to pose to both Bani and to Naim and also to myself is um, to do with the fact that our position vis a vis the history and politics of the realities that we confront are not necessarily themselves already available to us. We don't all we are, as, as beings within history, our relationship to history can never be already processed, right? Our, our relationship to history, our relationship to our world is constantly, I think, being frayed by the world. The certainty that I had yesterday about something cannot be, and almost inevitably is never going to be the certainty that I inhabit for the current moment and it will pass away tomorrow. So given that we are, you know, our very bodies and our minds and our dreams occupy this very, very uh, slippery set of places, there is something that happens when art um, or our practice uh, is articulated in a way that is recognizably political. I was perhaps flippantly, jokingly, saying to Bani and uh, Naeem that I personally tend to run away from political art when it is shown. Not because it is political, but I think because it is often insufficiently respectful to the incredible complexity and ambiguity of life. Right? It's not necessarily a stance that I take against slogans per se, but about the fact that the meter and the rhetorical inclination of slogans tends to reduce them to the loose change rather than the hard currency of politics. I happen to take politics extremely seriously, and there is a lot of work that I end up having to do against my wishes, against my best interests and inclinations, in the sphere of the political because of a certain skill set that I have, but I also sometimes want to protect my art practice from, from the incredible pressures to be quickly responsive that occurs when I inhabit the political sphere. This is not to say that the artwork that we do end up doing in Rux Media Collective is, is not political. I would insist that it is in fact very political. But to be political, one doesn't have to be. I think there's a difference between with art that is about politics, and a lot of art represents, illustrates, and is in the service of the political. And I see no reason why I have to be in the service of the 
rather, I, I think it's interesting to, to, to insist that practices of all kinds, whether you're an artist or a mathematician or a doctor, can actually foreground the complexity of being in the universe today. And by doing that, you're actually advancing very concrete core political agenda, the very concrete core political agenda of making it more difficult to say things. And I say this with some consideration. My interest is to have us admit to the difficulty of how things are. <laughs>